so lavender is definitely an agricultural crop. Of course, that's something we more often associate with corn, wheat, or soybeans. But as you'll soon see, in West Virginia, it's all about a different kind of agricultural harvest. In agricultural terms, timber in West Virginia could well be called a statewide crop. That's because timber here is grown and harvested in each of the state's 55 counties, covering 12 million of West Virginia's 15 million acres in forest land. And West Virginia is the third most heavily forested state in the nation, behind Maine and New Hampshire. It contributes $4 billion a year, employs 30,000 residents, uh, and it continues to grow, and uh, it's grown significantly over the past 10 years. State forester Randy Dye says timber and forest products contribute heavily to the state's economy. West Virginia has 7 million more acres in forest land than it did 100 years ago. And thanks to climatic conditions, trees here grow fast. We're blessed in the Appalachian region that hardwoods naturally regenerate by themselves. The, the seeds that the trees put down and also stump and root sprouts. And to plant would actually uh, be a waste of time and money. Red oak, along with yellow poplar, is one of West Virginia's most abundant species. But a change in consumer taste to lighter grained woods and changes in the nationwide home building market are posing some economic challenges to producers here, most of whom are farmers who harvest timber from forested areas on their land. And in this state you'll find that uh, every farm has a forest, or as I like to say, every forest has a, f a farm adjoining it. Uh, I think there's a, a deep uh, care and love of the land. Many of these farms have been passed down from one generation to the next. My dad and I together, we probably have about 60 of the 280 acres that's in uh, pasture ground and hay ground, and the rest of it is forested. In addition to managing his own farm, Jason harvests trees for other landowners. One of the main things is I like stewardship, uh, taking care of the woods and actually working with landowners to, to make the woods better. Along with economics, safety is another challenge. Federal statistics show logging to be one of the country's most dangerous jobs. So Jason has specific approaches to felling the timber. You want to cut the tree to the direction it's lean, but we also have a technique called directional felling. And we do a face cut, it's about a 90 degree wedge taken out of the side of the tree. From Jason's farm, 8 to 16 foot logs will be loaded onto trucks to be hauled off to mills. Farmers with forested land aren't the only ones facing economic challenges. Jobs in the timber industry fell some 13 percent between 2000 and 2006. And those realities impact more than 150 sawmills in West Virginia alone, most of which are small family-owned operations. Les Facemeyer, a Facemeyer lumber company, buys logs from independent contractors and processes them for lumber that's used in furniture and cabinet making. The mill saws about 5,000 board feet of wood an hour. While it operates year-round, warmer weather poses some special challenges because of the heat. Logs are an agricultural product, just like corn or anything. They'll rot, go bad. So you have to keep them sawed and you have to keep them rotated and caught up because they have moisture in them and they're, they're very perishable. Finished lumber continues to be shipped regionally as well as being exported to overseas customers in China and Europe. In some areas, farmers have added value to forested areas with recreational activities like rafting and fishing. And despite a changing economic picture, those in the industry see West Virginia's forested land as important to the future of their families and the state. 
I want my grandchildren to do this if they want to do it. So we don't want to destroy any of the woods. We want to see them grow. I just like taking care of the woods and, and cutting for future people. You know, my little boy, he's uh, six years old, and hopefully one day, you know, on our farm, he'll be able to cut some timber.